If there are super intelligent aliens out there, they're probably already observing us. That would seem quite likely. And we just um, are not smart enough to realize it. There's something called like the Fermi paradox of like, mm -hmm. where are the aliens? Yeah. So, you know, where are the aliens? I think it was Carl Sagan that said like, there either are a lot of aliens or none. And they're, they're equally terrifying. One way to think of it is imagine, imagine you're very confident that we were going to be visited by super intelligent aliens um, in, let's say, 10 years or 20 years at the most. Super intelligent. So you think within 20 years yeah, so, we'll have alien and Earth? I, I mean, I think there's, there's quite a high chance of microbial life. Um, and it's, there's a much, that then as you get more advanced in life, that, that there's less and less likelihood of, of um, it, it's an interesting confluence of events. Like, it's not just that there has to be life, intelligent life that evolves somewhere, but that, that life has to last for a long time for us to be, for us to exist at the same time as that. But I think this is, this is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy, uh, is uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Um, so, and what it suggests is because this great question is called the, the sort of the Fermi paradox. Like, where are the aliens? Like, if there are so many planets out there, um, and the universe is almost 14 billion years old, why why aren't the aliens everywhere? Um, and um, this is a, one of the most perplexing questions. Do you think we'll make contact with alien within the, the next 50 years? Well, that's a really tough one to say. Um, I can do some, some back of the envelope calculations and um, any advanced alien civilization that, that was at all interested in populating the galaxy, um, even without, uh, without exceeding the speed of light, even if you're only moving at say 10 or 20% of the speed of light, um, you could, uh, populate the entire galaxy in let's say 10 million years. Maybe 20 million years max. This is nothing, you know, in the grand scheme of things. If there are a lot of aliens, well, I mean, the invasion ship slash uh, bug infestation just, you know, like, <laughs> it's like it's an alien civilization might just view us as like a bug infestation. Right. You know, it's like, hey, we left that planet, it was fine, now it's got a bunch of bugs, just go fumigate it, you know. Um, like we'd fumigate a house. Um, that, that's certainly impossible. And then, uh, but if there are no aliens, well, could it be that all civilizations are just destroyed before they become inter, inter uh, stellar? You know, mm. so, you know, you could basically bicycle to Alpha Centauri in a few hundred thousand years. Like, meaning at that at bicycle speed. So it's sort of like, you know, uh, in, in hundred billion years, like even at a very slow speed, you could completely blanket the galaxy. So why, why not? Where are they? And, and I, I want to be clear, like, <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, I, there is no evidence for alien life on Earth. That alien life, there's no, ev a, there's no evidence for alien life. There's no direct evidence for alien life. No, you know, and if somebody says, oh, what about this alien for, uh, you know, uh, sighting or whatever. I'm like, listen, it's got to be at least as good as a 7-Eleven or ATM can. Okay? <laughs> it's like, if somebody's got at least like an iPhone 1 level camera. Yeah. Like something. The threshold that really matters is we're getting past the great filter. The, the, you say the great filter. What did you mean by that? Honestly, I think I would know if there were aliens. I would uh, hope so. That's yeah. why I'm asking you. No, I, 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 I'd, I'd be jumping on that. Like, be like, they sure are subtle. I mean, if they yeah. wanted us to know, obviously they, they could just, for sure, you know, show up and walk yeah. down Main Street. You know, right. like, hey, I'm an alien. Check me out. You know, right. Uh, he has my spaceship. I just land in the middle of Times Square. We were like, okay, we believe you. Yeah. Um, so w whatever they are, <laughs> they are very subtle, very subtle. These aliens. There was a great Onion article recently about like, you know, uh, <laughs> like. Like, NASA should only hold a press conference if they find aliens that we can talk to. <laughs>
Um, and in fact, I think it, it, consciousness, it, it is, it's the next step, actually, because you, you, you really kind of need consciousness to design uh, vehicles that can transport uh, life over hundreds of millions of miles uh, of irradiated space to an environment that they did not evolve to exist in. Um, I mean, we have archaeologists going all over the world looking at things. You know, there's this people like if if we were to find something like let's say like a cube of titanium, just like a one inch cube of titanium, see in the middle of the pyramid, I'd be like aliens for sure. There's no way they could have made a titanium back then. Mm. No, there's no way. That's hard. That's all. One little didn't even need a computer. Like a computer would be like, hey, wow, computers they didn't have computers back then, so it must be alien. But but even just like some advanced metallurgy, anything, like there's anything like that. What are, what are the important steps in the evolution of life? And obviously there was the advent of single-celled life, there was uh, differentiation to plants and animals, there was uh, life going from the oceans to land, uh, there was uh, mammals, uh, consciousness, um, and I would argue also on that scale um, should fit life becoming multiplanetary. I mean, maybe there are aliens, but they're very subtle. If there are, they're just very, uh, they're being pretty shy. Now, and the thing is that um, on a galactic time scale, even with sublight travel, you could absolutely colonize the whole galaxy, even some of the neighboring galaxies. Um, so if you gave, if you said a million years with, with, with and say we, there's, no, there's no new physics, could you colonize the galaxy in a million years? Absolutely, the entire galaxy. As far as we know, we are the only consciousness or the only life that's out there. There might be other life, but we've seen no signs of it. And people often ask me, if you, what, do you, what do you know about the aliens and that? And I'm like, man, I tell you, if, I'm pretty sure I'd know, you know, if there were aliens. I have not seen any sign of aliens. Um, and uh, so they're like, well, is the military hiding aliens in Area 51 or something, you know? You know, it would be very convenient, of course, if there was another planet just like Earth uh, nearby. Um, but, but that's... that's uh, unlikely and, and as it turns out not the case. I think if, if one could make um, a reasonable argument that that something is important enough to fit on the scale of evolution uh, then it's 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 important um, and, and maybe worth a little bit of our, our resources. If it's something like a quarter of a percent of the GDP um, that would be that would be okay. I think most people would say, okay, that's that's not too bad. Yeah, well, let me tell you, the the biggest, the fastest way to increase defense funding would be to bring out like, hey, we found an alien. People are like, ah, more money for defense, definitely. <laughs> this is guaranteed. They would try that would be like on display in two seconds. The reality is, as far as we know, uh, this is the only place, at least in this part of the galaxy or in the, in the Milky Way, where there is consciousness.